Hey, what's going on guys? Got another one for you today. This is another Windows 11 23H2 feature that I'd like to cover. This being the feature updates to the native paint application within Windows 11. So without further ado, let's launch paint. And let's take a look at what's new here. There's a few things that are new. One of the cool ones in my opinion, if you're like me, you like to run things in dark mode, aka what I call Batman mode. You can come up here to settings now, that's in the top right, the little gear. And my system is set to dark mode, so if I do that, that'll be dark mode. If you don't have dark mode enabled at a system level, no problem. Paint has the option just to run Paint as a standalone application in dark mode. So I'm going to set mine to system settings, and now we're in dark mode. A little easier on the eyes if you, uh, if you ask me. Uh, so that's one cool feature right there. Another one that I really, really like is the background removal tool. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. And then we have the co-creator, which is really cool. This uses artificial intelligence image creation technology. And we can give it a prompt and it'll give us a few images there. We're gonna take a look at that. And then we also have the layers feature where we can stack layers. If you guys use Photoshop, you're probably familiar with that. If not, don't worry. I'm gonna show you all about that here in a second. So to get started here, guys, let's get rid of this background. Uh, let's see if we can do that here. We may have to create another layer. Not sure why it did that. So all I did was hit remove background. I'm going to select what's left here and I'm going to delete that. So now we just have literally a transparent canvas or a working surface. So now we'll create a couple layers. So we have a blank transparent layer and another blank transparent layer. So now let's go ahead and see what we can do with the co-creator. This is, again, an artificial intelligence image creation utility, and it uses Dolly 3 on the back end, which is an open AI product. So let's just give it a prompt here. Um, I don't know. Let's create something fun. Uh, futuristic rainstorm where it rains green binary digits like in the movie The Matrix. I don't know if it rained them in The Matrix, but I hopefully it knows what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you have a style. We can do all kinds of different styles here. Charcoal, ink, ink sketch, watercolor, oil painting, digital art, photorealistic, anime, and even pixel art. I'm just going to go photorealistic and let's see what it comes up with. And if you guys notice, there is a little counter down here. I did a little research. I didn't find anything definitive, but it sounds like this starts at 50. I know that for a fact. And every time you generate, it goes down by one. So these are like tokens. These are free when you get them. I haven't seen anywhere where they're going to make you pay for them. I've seen a few what look like speculative answers on the Internet. One said when it reaches zero, uh, the next few images would be or until you get regenerated I guess or uh, re-upped it would be slower so you would be kinda lower on the queue for this image generation I didn't find anything for sure that said you were gonna get anything past 50 and I didn't find anything for sure that said you would get new tokens but I did see a few reddit threads where people were under the assumption that weekly you would get 50 or 100 new tokens and then again if you ran out you'd probably still be able to use this but it would just be slower so maybe if I run this all the way to zero guys I'll do another just real quick video to show you what happens alright so we have a few images here let's go ahead and select one that one's pretty cool let's check out what the other ones look like I'm just hitting control Z to undo because it is gonna place it on the layer I think I like that one on the right yeah that's pretty cool all right, so we have that. Now let's do another image. Let's do a image on our new layer here. So I'm going to do co-creator again, and I'm going to say, I don't know, an alien from the future looking up and reaching out into the sky. And let's see what that does. We see that decremented again by one. It's pretty quick too. I think it's just as quick as using Dolly 3 uh, from ChatGPT. Here we go. We've got three options here. Hmm, what does this look like? 
Eh, let's try a different one. Kind of sketchy. Yeah, that's creepy. All right, so now that we're on this layer, let's go ahead and remove the background for this layer. Boom, and there we go, guys. That's cool stuff. So I have my other layer here that I made basically into a background. And the way this works is you stack the layers. So if I go this one on top of that one, see now it disappears. But if I go this one on top of that one, this has a transparent, I've removed the background. So there you go. Just a very quick little tutorial on how we can create really cool stuff right inside of paint. I mean, who would have thought a couple years ago that this technology would have been embedded within Microsoft Paint. So that's really all I wanted to show you guys today. The new features in paint, removing the background, how to use dark mode, uh, the really cool AI generation tool of co-creator, and then the layers functionality. I was thinking or hoping they would have AI generative, generative background extension or background fill. I don't think they have that. I haven't been able to figure it out if they do. Let me know what you guys think about this feature though. Are you using this in paint? If you're not, you might want to check it out. One of the cooler features with 23H2. All right, guys, if you've created anything, Hey, feel free to share it with me. Let me know your thoughts on this. Are you a fan? You love it? Hate it? Somewhere in the middle? Like I said, share your thoughts. If you like this type of stuff, hit the thumbs up button, guys. Consider subscribing to the channel. I am trying to grow it, and your support is very much appreciated. Again, if you do enjoy this type of stuff and you find value, consider hitting that notification bell. I've got a lot more stuff on the way, and if you like it, you don't want to miss it. All right, guys. I hope everyone has a great day. Until the next one, take care, everyone. Uh -huh.